Alexa. I'm a clinical research associate currently based here in Ontario, Canada. This video is going to be about work week in my life. I'll be sharing with you uh, what I do on a daily basis when I'm out traveling to do on-site visits. Right now, I'm starting my week on a Tuesday because yesterday was a holiday for us here in Canada. It was family day, February 21st. So it was a nice long weekend. You get to relax and try not to think about work. But I'm here right now in Winnipeg. I'm already at the hotel. My day started very early, woke up at 3 a.m. and got ready. A red car service or a, sh a shuttle car picked me up at 4 a.m., dropped me off at the airport by then, and my flight was at 8 in the morning. So you can tell I'm very tired, but it's okay. I'm getting used to this kind of life, work lifestyle. It's, it's not that bad once you get used to it and then I'm gonna be here in Winnipeg until Friday so I'm gonna start my on-site visit tomorrow at the hospital one of the hospitals here um, starting tomorrow Tuesday and then Thursday and Friday Friday's just gonna be half day so pretty much I'll be preparing this site for a closeout visit maybe in April or May because they did not really recruit subjects for us for our study. We'll be doing a remote visit today. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I scheduled a remote visit um, during my travel day. Usually I don't do that but I scheduled a remote visit. A remote visit is when you review remotely the database, you're not physically on site, and then the starter coordinator will send you the documents you will request, and then you review that. So it's not bad, I'm gonna be doing that later in a bit. It's going to be, I think, three to four hours, and I'll have to call her. It's gonna be short, it's not that much to review. But yes, that's what I'll be doing today and then I'll update you. So I've completed already my remote monitoring visit and I spoke to my study coordinator via the phone and sent her a summary of what we talked about. Oh my gosh, I'm just so tired now. Like I'm done for the day, but gotta keep going. Still have lots to do. I need to write a report about it. I'm thinking of writing it tonight since it's a short one. And then prepare more. Yes! <laughs> yes! I have to prepare more for the visit tomorrow. Oh my gosh, you can see my dark circles are like so much already. It's so big. I mean, yeah. But anyways, enough about that. I'm thinking maybe go grab food at the grocery store grab food from there instead of going to restaurants all the time when I'm traveling I just find it more cost-effective and I grab some other stuff as well like fruits and more water because I'm gonna be here till Fridays I need those and we'll go from there see you later <laughs> I then drove to Real Canadian Superstar, bought salads, fruits, and snacks. Apparently, there's a large Filipino community in Winnipeg that this grocery store sells a variety of Filipino snacks. I of course bought a few of them just to satisfy my cravings at that time. And for dinner, I went to Hargrave St. Market. It was only a 5 minutes walk or less from my hotel. This is an upscale food hall that offers a variety of different eatery, plus a bar and brewery. I ordered Hakata ramen from Saburo Kitchen. It was a pork broth and it was savory. The only comment I have is that the pork was not that soft enough to my liking. Other than that, the ramen was delicious. FYI, when doing business trips as CRAs, we do get a food allowance a day. It depends on each company how much they allocate for food, but this is one of the perks when traveling. We get free food and who doesn't like that? I always like free food. <laughs> Good morning, 
so I'm heading out now to my site do my first day on site today it's Wednesday February 23rd and um, I'll be doing the investigator site folder review hopefully all the documents are filed in there if not then I'll just um, send them copies of what's missing and I'll be collecting documents as well that are missing in our uh, trial master file. Come with me and it's gonna be a productive day today. This is what the monitoring room looks like at this site and other sites you would be sharing a space with your study coordinator's office or you could also be placed in the basement there are also times that you'll get lucky you're placed in a big room with the windows however this room is not that bad at all oh <laughs> it's 5 36 i just finished my visit for today i still have to come back tomorrow and do pharmacy on-site activities all of that related with our investigational product that's what i will do tomorrow today is just mostly the investigational site folder so it's all like documents if they were filed my brain is just so tired from having brain fog a little bit but yeah that's that's it for now and then i will go pick up my food for dinner i ordered uh, from suko thai it was recommended by one of the nurses upstairs they said it's delicious we'll see how it's gonna be like i'm just so happy i don't live here it's freezing here <laughs> i'm gonna go now this is downtown Winnipeg and driving in Winnipeg can be tricky especially that week because the roads were slippery, filled with black ice, snow banks were higher than usual, blocking your blind spots especially when turning. I was driving 10 kilometers per hour below the speed limit. They were also experiencing extreme cold weather for four consecutive days like minus 40 degrees celsius actually when i picked up the rental car at the airport i had to wait for an hour or so because most of the cars that were returned were damaged i am lucky that my line manager is extremely nice she approved right away my request to add winter tires because of course safety first but i had to drive more cautiously due to the road condition like extremely slow <laughs> at the hotel now i'm about to eat my dinner and it's already seven <laughs> it's quite late but i have ordered this planning curry i think it's weird when i open it we'll see Okay, it's with chicken and a little spicy, just mild <laughs> coconut rice. I'm so ready to eat, and some dessert. It's a banana spring roll. I'm gonna go eat now. I'm starving and watch Netflix for a bit, then back to work again. Yeah. Um, it's 9 45 p.m. now, so I completed sending emails to my clinical trial manager. It's like a lead theory project manager kind of role, so I just ask her questions about documents. Um, finding them the versions the, uh, that I'm looking for as well and then I sent a big list <laughs> to my study coordinator of the documents that, that need to be filed in the investigator site file so basically an investigator site file is where we store all of those essential documents so those are the protocol the agreements the privacy letters, monitoring letters, the lab manuals, IP manuals, 
vendor system manuals, all of that that are needed in the study, the, the delegation log, um, the training log, all of those. The purpose of that is storing all of those essential documents so that if there's an audit or inspection and also for archival purposes. So that's that for the ISF. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna do all the pharmacy activities. So I have to get ready to go to bed soon. I'm quite tired. And you can see here, <laughs> It's not my um my dark circle is the mascara that's much early this morning because the mascara I used is not waterproof. <laughs> the mascara my waterproof mascara I forgot to bring it with me. <laughs> I look like a panda. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's fine. So uh, I gotta go to bed soon. And I'll see you tomorrow.